Hi guys, and here we go with my unboxing of the new HTC One B smartphone from HTC. Um, I'm actually upgrading from the HTC Wildfire. Um, as the HTC One B is faster, it runs on the latest version of Android, and it's supposed to be a, a, a better phone than this one. Basically, it's supposed to be a lot better phone than this one. Although having said that, with this with this phone, but it's not at, right at the top. It's sort of just below the sort of the best smartphones around. So, which means you get still getting a decent phone. The only difference is maybe not quite as fast as some phones, and it's a five megapixel camera as opposed to an eight or or beyond that. But apart from that, um, and the memory is only like four GB. But as soon as you stick a memory card in that, and the memory will be just as good as any other phone. And, then the only real difference is the um, the speed the speed in the camera, which is an awful lot, lot of difference. So here we go with the unboxing of the HTC. When I've actually already opened it and taken the packaging off the of the adapters and everything like that, rip put it put back together and we'll go through it. So this is the HTC One um, V and it comes in this already. It looks impressive. In this box that it comes, look at that nice hard box. It's got the nice label of the HTC One B here. Let's just go through some of the specifications of the phone. Its CPU is one gigahertz, so that's not bad. Other than that, like I said, there are higher ones, but you get the a bit more money for that. I've got this on, um, I've got this phone free from Vodafone, so on a great deal. So, the platform is Android with HTC sensor, we're all very familiar with. The memory is 512 megabytes of RAM, storage, 4 G GB total, so although it's not, like I say, a massive memory. Uh, just stick an SD card in there and you're right around, it's like having a bigger and more memory from without an SD card, isn't it? So. The display is 3.7 inch touch screen, screen and it's got Beast audio with it. The camera is a 5 megapixel one and it's 720p HD video recording so it's supposed to be a brilliant camera actually and it's supposed to have some great features on it so and it's also got an expansion slot for your micro SD card in so let's have a look at the unboxing. Remember I've already taken the cover off and the cellophane off the phone so it'll look a bit um, Dotty on when we have a look at it. So, as you can see, you get a station box. So, you can undo that. And there you go. Your HTC One B set right on top. And this sticker was a lot clearer, but I've taken it off and put it back on. Which is HTC One B right on it. So, first of all, let's have a look at the phone. Look at that. We'll just switch it up for a minute. So that's the phone. Um, the quality of it is absolutely brilliant. Rather than the average plastic, it's complete with steel and rubber, and it already feels like a really good quality phone already. I mean, I haven't switched on anything yet. There was just I haven't switched it. Um, I changed it tonight and, and probably switch up probably, but it's still a full battery. So as you can see, it's got a nice. This one is got really nice. Uh, cave, curved chain which has been used. This sort of design has been used on other things you see the problem, but with this um, curved chain which may not be to anyone can see it makes it a bit nice and snug in the hand and like I said the quality of it is brilliant. Anyway as you can see it's got the curved chain on and off switch here your normal uh, stereo jack for your fucking earphones in so you can put in a phone in Got your, got your volume rocker there. Um, that's where you plug it into thing, and then this hasn't got a removable battery. That's the only downside of it. So you know, at the end of the day, it's nothing. And then this is where you put your um, micro US micro SD card in and SIM card. So all you do is just 
on a chest strap like that and that's where it goes and it just simply clicks on like an agent so well in my, I'm going to do another video review of the actual phone so we'll have a close look at the phone later on to show you what else you get in with this box so there you go phone was sitting on top you get all your instruction manuals including these little stickers that, that's got all the detail, IMA numbers on and you stick these on the back of your phone if you want to claim for service or repair so you also get a little guide a little guide here show you what's what on your phone on the front close some little instructions on the battery about charging your battery for the first time and if you've already got a plan minute plan at what to choose a little contact us um, leaflet safety and regulatory guide and a warranty and then inside here you've got your headphones you can touch your headphones there just the HTC ones and your USB power adapter so if you want to plug it in your computer you just put that in your phone like there uh, there, put your USB into computer, and then if you want to plug it in, this is, I love this with HTC, brilliant idea, rather than having to change for the lead, all I do is plug that USB into this power socket and bang it in your wall, brilliant idea by HTC, and um, this, this phone should be on par with some of the iPhones out there, you know, you don't always need to go and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a decent phone but you know the market's out there for those people that want to spend a lot of money and the market's out there but that don't put in and we'll be back later to do once I've had a look at the phone and got used to it I'm going to do come back here and do a full review on the HTC One Thanks for watching, my name's Nick, goodbye